Hey there guys, this is Master DK, and welcome to my birthday special. I know this might seem like a weird birthday special, but I thought it would be a cool, maybe unique idea to do something where I discuss more personal things about me that can relate to this channel's content. At first I thought maybe I'll do a cover, but I already did that back in 2015. But then I thought, hey, how about I do a video face to face with you all, thanking you all for the support you've given me on this channel so far. But then I figured, one, I do that too much, and two, I really don't like this webcam. At all. You could turn it off now. You could turn it- TURN IT OFF! So after more and more pondering, I went to bed one night and had a dream that I hadn't had in a long time. Then it dawned on me. It all became clear. For my birthday special, I was going to do a video talking about my most vivid recurring dreams I have had in my past. Plus I figured I had no better video to do, so why not go all the way with this idea? So without any further stalling, here are my 5 most vivid recurring dreams. They might make you creeped out, weirded out, or might make you laugh. I don't know, it depends on who you are, and if you laugh you're an asshole. Anyways, let's begin. First let's talk about one I used to have when I was a very little kid and haven't had much after that. It was still a recurring dream though. There have been many variations of this dream, but one thing I do remember from each variation is what appeared to be an incomplete CGI old man. I've been trying my best to put into words what this weird thing looked like, and I think I got it. Imagine a cross between Gary from Pixar and Mr. Saturn. Now a lot of you are probably either laughing at this or creating a CGI model of what I just described to submit to Dolan Dark or Clemmy. Honestly, do that. Anyways, while this may seem funny to you, I would always wake up from this dream terrified. Why was I terrified? I really don't know. Looking back, it's not that big of a deal. But in all fairness, I'm desensitized as fuck. Like I said, I had many variations of this dream, but they're mostly foggy. However, they all had a pattern. At some random point throughout whatever I was doing, this Gary Saturn character would pop up in front of me randomly and cause me to wake up absolutely traumatized. Wait awful CG character model popping up in random places and times. Oh fuck, this is going to become a dank meme, isn't it? I think the reason it resembled Gary is because he kind of did scare me back then. I didn't mind him in his Pixar short, but I remember being thoroughly creeped out by all the close-up shots of him in Toy Story 2. Still don't see how it was nightmare worthy though, especially since the true horror was with that one fucking baby. Ugh, next dream. The next one is a little more disturbing. I would probably consider this one a nightmare, but oddly enough I was rarely scared of them. It would depend on how intense it was. This also happened in my old home, one you might have seen in my some of my very first live action webcam videos. But it was actually cool as well as creepy because, in a way, I kind of felt like it was a lucid dream. In fact, in a couple cases, it did feel like that. I knew I was sleeping, but I was also walking around my house. I would go out into my kitchen and I would see that it was like early morning, maybe 6.30. The sun was still coming up. And pretty much what these dreams would do is that they would test me to see if I could figure out if I was dreaming or not. And they would do this by making me look around for things that are out of place or not normal. Pretty much like a very twisted game of I Spy. Something that was not a thing in my house would come into focus and I'd realize it was a dream. Sometimes I wasn't even on my own looking for these things. Sometimes my mom would be in the kitchen and she would literally ask me if I thought I was awake or still dreaming. Kinda creepy. And the thing that was scary in some cases include, first of all, some nights it would do this multiple times in a row in an attempt to trick me into thinking I escaped the dream. And secondly, sometimes the things that would be out of the realm of the norm I was looking for would be incredibly horrifying. Like, some were very mild and harmless, like there would be two red cardinals outside that are both red, but I knew for a fact we've only ever had one male and one female cardinal at our bird feeder. But then, the more intense ones usually consisted of a dead relative somewhere in the house. Whether it was one of my parents or just one of my family members visiting. I won't go further into that because some were more graphic than others, but it was pretty disturbing and those dreams I would wake up scared from. So I guess you could say I had a cool little indie horror game I created with my subconscious. So that's great. Alright, this next one I would classify as a rage dream. As in, it makes me pissed off every time I wake up from it. And the reason being is because there needs to be something like this in real life. If you're a hardcore gamer especially, this dream would make you fascinated but then immediately pissed off. Imagine a game console. 
that can play literally any game in existence. I'm talking all the Nintendo consoles, all the Playstations, all the Xboxes, even games for the PC. This is what I have had recurring dreams about. I would just have a video game console in my room, and it has literally every game on it, sorted into categories. The controllers are compatible with each of them. They even had a shuffle button that would allow you to pick a random game for when you're completely bored. Amazing, right? But here's the thing about this dream that infuriates me. Right as I am starting to load up one of the giant library of games, I would wake up. That has to be worse than a red ring and a power outage combined. All the games in existence and one console. Something revolutionary that would change gaming as we know it. And I don't even get to play it? Sounds like a metaphor for life. You can't have such simple amazing things because the world just won't let you have them. Okay, seriously, I'm just gonna move on to the next dream before I lose any more of my shit over it. All I'll say is, gaming developers, whatever differences you guys may have, we have to band together as one. Because when we do, each one of us could have our very own consoles where we play and download any game we ever wanted. 2020, let's get to it. Next, we're gonna go into a recurring dream that I can't stand. And the reason I can't stand it is because I love pets and I would never do anything to hurt them. And I think my subconscious takes that quality about me and uses it against me in my sleep. Cause every once in a while, I would have a dream that I am going about my normal daily life, knowing that my cat Peace is being fed and cared for. But then all of a sudden, I would walk into a room and see a pet that I lost a long time ago. Usually it's a fish or a hermit crab because as a little kid, those were two of my primary household pets that I owned. And I would just see them there looking like they're in their last days of life. Since it was one of my past pets, I don't know if I have pictures of them still. Oh look, I do! I see they're not dead, and I realize I have not fed them in literally years. So out of absolute guilt, I quickly give them a large supply of food, which they somehow find the strength to eat. But I end up just feeling absolutely terrible. I've had dreams about my neon tetra, my past beta fishies, but most of them are usually about my hermit crabs. I had two of them, and I lost both of them because bugs got in their tanks while they were molting. But I did take very good care of them, so why did I have these dreams? Once again, I think my subconscious was taking advantage of my love for pets, but it might also stem back to when I had a DS and, and realized I hadn't played my Nintendogs game in literally years. Then I loaded my dogs back up and they were whining and malnourished and I felt awful even though they were virtual. So please, everyone who has pets, please do not forget to feed them ever. They depend on you for food and honestly, how would you feel if someone starved you? Treat your pets good, they love you, even if they don't always show it. Last dream. This one has stayed fresh in my mind ever since I first had it and it's one of the creepiest ones to me. Not only what happens in the dream, but the fact that I literally shared it with another person in real life. That is what really stuck with me. The dream would pop up every blue moon and each time I would wake up just confused and in fear of the mystery behind it. It always started with me in the backseat of a car and it was being driven by either my mom or my older sister. They would stop at a gas station and I would just be chilling in the backseat when all of a sudden the car starts back up and starts driving away with me inside. What could be creepier than that, you might ask? My mom or sister would either ignore it or in some cases would literally turn to me and wave goodbye. But that isn't even what creeped me out the most. This is. The fact that I would be looking out the window, the car taking turns down various roads for at least several minutes, and then I would wake up without knowing what the destination was. I never ever found out where this car was taking me. Was it taking me home? Was it taking me to school? To a family member's house? Or was it taking me somewhere dangerous? Like the woods or into a lake? That is what creeped me out the most about this dream. But actually, it gets worse than that. I told my older sister about this dream, and instead of the usual, it's okay, it wasn't real, she told me she has had the same recurring dream. Exactly how I described it except it was either our mom or her biological dad behind the wheel. That is absolutely insane. You can tell how out of all the recurring dreams I described, this is number one. And I honestly couldn't figure out why I was having it, cause I knew my family loved me and would never put me in a car that would drive me away. And surely they would panic if they saw it happening. If I were to guess, it would be my personal fear of driving. And it's true, I did have a fear of driving because what if I got lost? 
What if I got turned into an alternate route and completely lost all sense of direction? It's a big world out there to get lost in, and if you took a long distance trip and got lost, it could be very bad. Now of course my fear has dwindled since then, cause, I mean, hey, we have phones that can literally tell us where to go. I think I'll be fine, and luckily I haven't gotten lost yet, so that's good. But if it did happen, I'd probably have an attack. Just saying, you don't want to ride shotgun when that happens. <laughs> But yeah, this dream will be one that I'll probably always remember, just because of the theories of where the car could have been taking me and the fact that I shared it with someone. But anyways, I want to thank you all for watching this video. Like I said, a really weird video to be doing on my birthday of all days. But as dark and creepy as this video was in some parts, I do enjoy making videos like this, and I wanted to try and do something personal for a change since, well, my birthday is pretty personal. And it turns out I'm actually celebrating my birthday on Saturday because, you know, it's a weekend. But I figured since this is the actual day and the actual time of day I was born, I thought I should do at least something, right? Also, please, if you had any of these dreams, because I know a lot of people in this world share certain dreams, please let me know. I'd love to hear how alike or different they are in your own versions of them. Thank you guys once again, and for the newcomers, feel free to subscribe and also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at MasterDK913 if you want, and I'll see you next time.